We just have a few more minutes left, and before everyone uh, takes off and stops paying attention, I'm just going to get some last-second announcements in. Reminder, the voting is tomorrow, Congress's session 1.30. Um, if you haven't been certified, come see me, uh, not a after this session because I'm speaking on the next one, but um, uh, I'll be at the ASA table most of the, the rest of the afternoon and uh, tomorrow morning as well. Uh, so if you're not certified or haven't picked up your board packet, please pick it up then. Wait, Mike, No, it ends at uh, 2.45. There's another session that's going to be coming in here. Um, it doesn't start until 3.30. Doesn't? Uh, it's starting at 3 p.m. in here, so, so no, I mean, it's, we, can, we can get out of here in one minute. If the next session ends at 3.15, all right, we got one last, or three o'clock, one last 30-second question. Uh, we're going to go to, um, let's see, who should get a student? Um, let's go to Sam, Sam Chapman. Okay, fun question. All right. Um, so there's been a lot of talk, I'm Sam from the University of Oregon, uh, so there's been a lot of talk about direct action, right, And but I have yet to hear like a tangible idea, so I'm, I'm, a scenario question. Um, if the only way that you got on the board was to get national media attention of this conference, in 30 seconds, how would you do it? Oh yeah. Wait, I don't think I understand. Like that. All of us, because there's like 400 students trying to work on changing drug laws. How would you get us in the national media this weekend? How would we message it, or how would I go about making those connections? How, Either way. Yeah. yeah. Either how, way. how do we get national media attention from this conference? Okay. This um, well, recently I had a pretty good media success when, um, sadly, Whitney Houston passed away, and then um, Tony Bennett came out and, as a recovering addict, spoke about the need for uh, legalization. And I saw that opportunity, talked to a bunch of people and people I know that are involved with media, and without their connections, I wouldn't have been able to get those media um, connections. But I know how to talk to people, and I feel like I see instinctual things. So I know who I would, I would talk to certain people, and I would highlight the individual stories here, and specifically the diversity that we already have here, because this is a much more diverse conference than I think other people realize. Already. So we're making a video. Um, they're trying to highlight different personal narratives. We would take that video, um, get everybody who's at this conference to post it to Facebook, to tweet it out, make it go viral, and use social media to get a lot of attention. We don't need necessarily to have connections with somebody in the New York Times, although if we do, that's awesome. We should utilize them. But we ourselves, through social media, can make anything go big and viral. There's 400 people here, and how many people at home in our chapters, and how many people who are families and in other groups. Utilize your connections, each and every one of us. All right, so if you need national media attention, you gotta do something really big. So I would actually take everyone from this conference and go to the University of Denver and start actually organizing with the students there because Colorado 2012 is the only national story that we have in our pocket right now. So if we were to take everyone from here and actually go to the communities that are gonna be doing the work and say, we're here to help you. How can I help you from Connecticut? How can I help you from California? Get all those people there together. That's a big ass meeting that the national media might actually wanna cover. The fact that we're going and doing something a little bit different is something that has to happen. We can then take that media and like the Occupy movement, make our own promo videos and force it into the national debate. Okay, so basically I would have a ad campaign and uh, a hell of a good press release. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I would have to agree, sorry for kind of repeating, but pretty much Coney 2012 took off like crazy, whether you agree with it or not, that hit the news pretty quickly. And making something like SSDP 2012 or Colorado 2012, something like that, spreading it through social networks. I actually am very involved in uh, UCTV, our student uh, video, um, our student television station. So I make a lot of videos. We had campaign videos and stuff. So I'd be very interested in doing things like that. Don't think I could have it done by this weekend, because making a video, a lot of editing, a lot of work, uh, late nights, but a long-term goal. Uh, making a very viral video for uh, to spread on Facebook. I think those all sound like great ideas. Um, I think the most important thing to focus on is it's all about the presentation. It's all about how we come off. It's all about how people see us. Um, if we come off as a stereotype, no one's gonna care. <laughs> really, we need to shock them. We need to be professional. We need to be able to make communication like we or make uh, build really uh, valuable relationships. Um, I think it could be as small as. People like Will walking up to somebody, uh, talking to a local news guy at a pizza place, or we can uh, really reach out, but we need to go with uh, personal narratives. Well, since it wasn't specified, I can think of a lot of ways to get a lot of negative national media <laughs> I guess we'll get a 
on that route. Uh, and then the second thought that came to my mind was, I would run out of this room and I would find Ethan Nailman. And I would get him to do it, I would do it for us, and then we would obviously combine that and do some viral stuff. Go call you. So, uh, a little while ago, ABC and um, some other organizations did this uh, research and it showed that one in three individuals under I think the age of like 25 uh, will either be in jail or on parole at one point in time. Uh, take all of us, one third of us, wear entirely orange uh, pants and shirts, walk to the town hall in Denver, confront the mayor, um, because the fact is that most of this incarceration is driven by drug prohibition. Ask him why he does not support changing these laws and why he thinks a third of us should go to jail. I definitely think the story booth is a very important aspect of this uh, of this conference, and I think that we can implement it and uh, pull a Coney 2012, if you will, um, make it go viral. Everyone shares it. That's really good. Press releases are all also really important. We've had a lot of success with my chapter, uh, specifically we, uh, the Ethan Edelman Asa Hutchison debate. We got some really good media out of that, including a great NPR interview that Ethan did, and he's never done a bad interview, I guess. But yeah, really great press release, story booth, and also I think Jason had a really good idea approaching the campaign, asking what they need done, see what we can do this weekend. Yeah, yeah I think uh, the two big pieces would be making it newsworthy and then getting the word out. And you know, like, like Jason said, you know, we could go on a campus, we could, could go to uh, state house, um, meet with legislators, you know, so something big that's out of the ordinary. And I also think in terms of getting the word out, social media is important, and also reaching out to you know, old-fashioned media as well. You know, I know people who are reporters and, and that kind of thing, and you know, use those connections as well. Uh, yeah, well, I think it's really true that an event hasn't happened if it's not in the news. Um, I, I rented a 3,000 euro Sony HTV camera that I, I brought to the conference. I've been recording all morning. I already got my interview with Ethan Nailman. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I agree. I think we, we can go to downtown everybody and do something like a flash mob, I don't know, like, like dancing and something like that, and then say a message, a short message to people. There, I think we, we could get a little bit, and also doing that stuff like YouTube and um, Facebook and Twitter. We have 400 people in one hotel, especially 400 students yeah. from across, you know, at this point, the entire world. There is no reason that we couldn't organize something like a, a march to downtown Denver or through downtown Denver from the University of Colorado. I mean, that would that would make headlines. 400 students from across the world travel to Denver to make sure that you know something really happens here. Yeah. Um, I think. Being there are 400 students here, and almost every one of the people here are leaders, if we came up with a campaign from the grassroots level that we could all get behind and all work towards and put together all of our minds to make things happen and put it out to the press, I feel like we'd very easily be able to get very big media. All right, thanks everyone. Um, there's still clearly lots and lots of questions that want to be asked, but we simply do not have time, and that's, uh, we don't want to, um, be disrespectful to the rest of the room. However, before people start taking off, we do have the Chapter Leaders Facebook group. I would highly encourage people who have additional questions to post uh, on the Chapter Leaders group. If there are four candidates here who do not have internet access, please come see me. I will make sure that you will be able to respond to anything that gets put up on Facebook. That is also a Facebook, we're yeah, here. Yeah, we are here. It's a way to ask a question to, a, to everyone all at once and we can find it further. But on top of that, yes, please, everyone. Everyone's here. Glad hand, get them to the candidates, and uh, thank you for coming. Why don't we do like mid 15 I'll send the videos, everyone, the videos for the, this QA and for yesterday's speeches. If you missed the speeches yesterday, the videos are on SSDP's YouTube. <laughs>